About 10 years ago, I made a video of myself playing a uh, uh, number called Cindy in the style of Pete Seeger. And uh, someone asked me recently if I would explain it. So, uh, yeah, I could much more easily explain it than play it again. Because <laughs> it's not that easy. Uh, or at least I need to warm up a bit. So I'll, I'll do it slowly. Um, it's, not, it's not that complicated. It's just slightly different pattern than what you might be used to if you're used to playing bluegrass. So it's a finger picking on a steel string banjo without finger picks. And halfway through he switches to claw hammer. So, I mean, I learned this by slowing down the recording. You can, you can do that too, but I will explain it here. Just note for note. So we're starting on the 12th fret um, and going middle and then forward roll after that with uh, five, three, one. So, and then forward roll again, but this time index on the second string. So, back to thumb again, so. And that's the basic pattern. That gets repeated over and over with different left hand fingerings. So, uh, yeah, let me take you through the left hand. So we're starting 12th fret, barring the, the first three strings. And that comes around. That's the 14th fret, and then up to the 15th fret. Back to the 14th. That is, I guess, the first phrase. Then it's kind of the same thing down to the fifth fret. Change change the chord shape. So fifth fret barred. And then it's the, you know, whatever shape you call that. And then back to the beginning again. Fifth, uh, seventh fret this time. This time the thumb comes down to the third string. So that last note is the eighth fret on the second string. Okay, here's where it changes. And we have a forward roll. And then thumb down to the third string. And then index on the third string, back to the fifth fret. So, let me take it from the top again. Now we get up to the next part. Okay, so this is like the, the, the second part. Oh, is that right? Right, okay, so the index finger on the right hand is alternating between the second and third strings sometimes. So starting on the third string. Same ending as the first part. Uh, no, sorry. You're going to shift down so that you can do this downstroke. Yeah, so the thumb hooks, just like you would in claw hammer. 
striking that first string and then popping up on that fifth string there to back to the beginning. So I'll just do it again slowly. Second time, there's that's another thing you can do is add your fourth finger on your left hand there instead of just a small variation. Another variation that's that's nice too. That, Then it's a one time through on claw hammer. off a little bit but I think that's the basic idea um, I hope that helps and you know if if you want to contact me for a, a lesson or or just further detail you can send me an email um, feel free uh, my email address is on my website uh, aaronjonalewis.com and you can also join me on patreon and send me messages through there patreon.com slash aaronjonalewis so I hope this is helpful and I'm really glad that you're interested. I, I don't hear a lot of people playing this style. I think it's wicked hard and this is about the only thing I've worked out in this style. It's really cool though. So um, happy banjoing and uh, see you next time.